Hello, my people. I say make I can't do this one. Una know the Brit uh, British High Commissioner, the outgoing one, Katrina. Yes, so hmm. No be small, oh. The woman don't come misfire, misian. I shall don't William. I shall don't they give him woto woto. <laughs> I shall they give him hot hot. That is said, you man go misfire. She go see our politician. They, they interview. They come. They interview her. Now she misfire. They tell saying a few people now by country where she come from where she no say. Come on, cat. Fuck squirrel. You don't know born you want be alive here, Papa. When they catch you, you go go and you go go prison. She come. They say now just in short eh. He say incident where he did fascinating. You can imagine. We never even talk that one finish. That one day grand. The V M C double I. Conquer, they don't announce Peter Obi. Peter Obi as president elect. Hey, wala, tell the wala, 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 wala. Baby, wala, you watch the video. Watch the video yourself, I beg. Hmm. Of Katrina, they heard you. Yes, indeed, they heard you. You came out to tell us that the 2023 election, you found it fascinating. You found it fascinating that people were killed. You found it fascinating that people were injured, people were armed. You found it fascinating that results were being changed. You find it fascinating that violence was brought into the election. Well, they've heard you. They've heard you loud and clear. And the gubernatorial election, they unleashed more violence. More people have been killed. More people have been harmed. More people have been disenfranchised. More people have been refused to perform their civic duty. The same thing that you not accept in your own country. You come to our country and you sit down, you're fascinated by an election that is mad with violence because of course, it's, it's, it's a horror film. You can watch life happening. Again and again and again we have stand. This double standard, this two-faced standard, we do not want thing. You sit in your prison little countries, you have election where people are free to go out and vote, where nobody is afraid for their lives, where nobody is killed when they go out for election, and then you come to our own place, you accept a minimal standard, you're okay with, oh, a few being killed because those few are not part of your families. Those few are not your citizens. We do not need handouts from you. We do not need handouts from, from these nations. You sit down, you constantly want our country to be down. You want our continent to be down so that you say, oh, we sent them five million pounds for the election. That's payers money. Do we look like we need five million pounds? Does Nigeria look like it needs five million pounds? We have said to you, stop giving a enabling environment for people who loot our nation dry and take them to your places and invest them there. There must be minimum standard. We're sitting down here, people are being killed because they want to exercise their civic duty. And you come to tell us that we should be proud of an election that is so mad. Organized by INEC in Lagos State for the governorship and state houses of assembly is not an election, but a movie script played by INEC as a vision that will never help reset Nigeria as a people. So therefore, we call on INEC to cancel the elections in places where irregularities were performed, with evidence to show. These cancellations should give birth to fresh elections so that the people can return the nation to stability. We use this opportunity to also call on President Mohammed Buhari to disband the transition committee he set up to, hold over, to hand over power to another democratic administration because the election that produced the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinebu as president-elect is not proper and will never be recognized by the Nigerian people. The disbandment by Buhari will go a long way to help redeem the image of our democracy and rebuild our political stability at this time in history. It is a total waste of time and public funds for a transition committee to transfer power to a fake, democratic, impersonating, and undemocratic president-elect. President Buhari, sir, you can also use this disbandment as a way 
to create the solid pockets of peace for Nigeria and its people before, re before you return power come May 2023. We call on INEC to also cancel the elections held in Lagos for the governorship. Fellow Nigerians, this should also interest you to know that the fight for a true democracy for Nigeria is no more going to be a thing Nigerians alone can make a reality. This is because we have decided to call on the international courts to step into the matter before Nigeria is turned into a political war zone that the world will not be able to control. If Buhari's administration refuses to obey the laws set aside by the Electoral Act, we shall have no option but to seek redress at the International Court of Justice. We are talking about the ICC. Because for the, because for the VMCII, these political wickedness are also seen as criminal crimes that will attract criminal investigation by an independent court of international competent jurisdiction. We shall invite the ICC by rolling a special petition to them to flash a red light on settling the case of the fake results of, of the fake results INEC refused to have a review upon that the vivas have provided by the laws of our electoral act. It's time to honestly reconnect, reconnect INEC back on track as an independent agency of government. Your redemption is very key if you wish to have a positive participation of youths in other future elections because it is very clear that the just concluded governorship and state assembly elections were protectively bycourted by the youths. That is why a low turnout was recorded and INEC as an independent body must have a review of the presidential election results so it can declare Mr. Peter Obi as president-elect as the choice voted as president by the Nigerian people. On the 18th of March, 2023, what actually transpired wasn't an election. What happened was a miscarriage of electoral justice. All we see flying around over the conventional and social media is an affront on our democracy. The APC administration has succeeded in plunging this country into a political aberration. Before the international community, Nigeria is now seen as a laughingstock.